So hi guys, today I have this fabulous Sabellis to show you. It has off-road parking. This is a lovely property, you're on Sector D. You have some amazing views at the end of the road there. It's a pretty wide road as well. Just in here, you have your off-road car parking so you can drive in one way and drive out the other. So I'm just going inside here through the side so you've got an enclosed side entrance here and just inside there you have got your underbuilt which we will have a look as we're leaving so I'm going to walk around the perimeter of this property first and we have a look I won't go by the bushes we'll walk up the steps and down so just here, you've got a nice little area where you can sit in the sunshine, have a glass of wine. And you've got that lovely terrace up there in the shade where you can just chill. So let me take you around the garden. So just around the garden, you have this lovely area that's covered in that turf grass. As you can see, the fruit trees have fruit ready to ripen. You have a pool and you have this lovely tiling going on just down here. There is a pergola over the far side that comes across so you can sit and enjoy the shade there on these hot sunny days. And another one over there under the barbecue and another one there for El Fresco Dining. So just in here, you have this beautiful area if you just want to sit indoors. You have got wiring there for TV. You've got your integrated hob and electric oven, a sink, a fridge, and basically everything you need for an outside kitchen and dining area here. And of course, got your in there for your wine. So just next door, we have a small bathroom. WC and a vanity unit. So that's if you get taken short when you're in the pool. So you don't have to thread everything the water and everything through the house, you know. You have a shower here over these stepping stones. You have this lovely area for dining in. As you can see, And just over here, you have this area as well under the pergola and you've got the barbecue there as well. Looks like a brand new barbecue, never been used. And of course you've got this beautiful pool here as well. So some lovely outside space, lovely area to stay in. So you got these lemons growing here, you can see the shape of them. And on the other tree you can see, not sure whether they're oranges or limes at the moment, because they're green. But you got plenty of fruit trees here. Steps up here to the nice little D section where it's all shaders up here and you have got all the awnings around as well if I just pull that up you can see 
So you can pull them down, keep the sun from here if you want. So you've got a nice little seating area there. You can have breakfast and just overlook your pool in the morning. So let me take you inside to this beautiful home. So let's go in and check it out. So you have an insect screen door here. Keep all the insects away from you in the summer months. You have a UPVC door there. This is a vestibule and you could put coat hangers or whatever you just want it in there. Okay. Now as we come in you have got central heating. Got an archway into a beautiful kitchen, which we will have a look at soon, and then to the bedrooms. Just in here is your lounge area. This lounge area is quite a large lounge. You have got central heating throughout, wreckers and blackout blinds on the windows, wreckers to the front of the house over there. You got ceiling lights and fans. And they're all dual aspect windows. This is a Sibelis style property. So this is a lovely area as you can see. Nice bright and airy. And all those windows really illuminate this beautiful villa. So I'm going to go and bring you through the archway. And let's go into the bedrooms and have a look around there. So, directly in front of me is a small bedroom. This will take a double bed, mind. But you've got a single bed and the owners use it kind of as an office at the moment. So, you've got blackout blinds on the windows there. And you have got central heating radiators under the windows. I'll just come up here and turn around. You've got overhead storage and double wardrobes. So let's go in and this is the main master bedroom. You have overhead storage and double wardrobes here. You've got a radiator. And through here is you've got dual aspect windows as well with a ceiling light and fan. You've got sockets and switches on either side of the bed and if i just come in and walk around you've got plenty of room for storage and more furniture if you want it so you've got his and hers wardrobes here with overhead storage and double wardrobes it's a really large bedroom and you have these locks on the windows as well so I'm just taking you in here. You have got an ensuite. So you have a bath and a clear screen, shower screen with a bit of frosting on it. You've got your shower unit in your bath there. You've got your WC and you've got your B-Day. Sink and pedestal there as well. So you have a heated towel rail and you've an overhead heater over the door as well. You have a shaving socket there and plenty of switches in here as well. So that's the ensuite for this bedroom. So just down the link corridor here, this brings me to another shower room. In the shower room, you have your toilet, shower with the rain head shower in it. It's all fully tiled, your frosted glass window there, your sink and pedestal. You have an electric towel rail just there, and you have overhead over the door heater, and you have heated towel rail there as well. This one is the central heating one. 
Yes, this is the central heating one and that's an electric one. You have your sinking pedestal as well. It's a nice mirror and vanity unit. So just out here, we come around and you come into bedroom three. Bedroom three has overhead ceiling light and fan and you have blackout blinds on the windows. You've also got your radiator just under the window there. You also have your overhead storage and your double wardrobe. So another good size double bedroom. So let's go out and we'll have a look at kitchen now this is a kitchen diner so in here this in the sabellas there's usually a wall just there but they've removed that made the kitchen a lot larger and made it all one big room which is great so you've got this really easy to work in kitchen it's quite large so you've got your sink and drainer over here and your washing machine and your cupboards just there you have plenty of overhead storage, integrated cooker and hob. It's all on a granite worktop, all done out in white. And you've got your American style fridge there as well. You've also got a radiator in here as well as spotlights. And just for you to see that you have wreckers on the windows there, as well as the insect screens and the blinds. I'm going to take you outside now. We're going to go upstairs to the rooftop solarium. So I'll just take you up the stairs here. So just up here you have an awning. So this is a nice area that you could do some private sunbathing. And you can see for miles around, just show you those beautiful, amazing views over there. Absolutely stunning. So I've come back down the steps now, all the way down. And that is the side gate out to the front. But I just want to show you this underbuilt here it's quite a large underbuilt if i put the lights on well that's that side over there and i'm sure this is this side and this is the way out so if you're interested don't forget contact dawn info at letterselltobuy.com with the reference number that I will leave in the thumbnail in the title of this property. So bye for now.